So it's early morning, I'm about to leave to go to work. Today is an earlier day, it's 6, 13, I have to be at work at 6.45. Usually this is the case when the dad travels, I'm going to work earlier and staying earlier. So let's head to work and get the day started. Okay, so the kids just left this to be dropped off at school. The little one is still sleeping. Sometimes he does wake up when they wake up and even though he turned five, he still gets really tired and you can definitely tell when you didn't get that extra hour, hour and a half of sleep. So I am really hungry this morning. So I am going to make some sourdough so that it's done for dinner. And then I'm gonna make myself some breakfast and maybe some non-coffee latte because I'm not doing coffee. I'm taking a break for a few weeks. I usually do all my cleaning on Thursdays, like my vacuuming, dusting, and cleaning up. So today we will be doing cleaning, but it won't be as heavy duty. And obviously, I've said this before and I'm gonna say it again, I don't show the kids because it's not my kids to show and I do not want their faces on the internet. So just because you guys see me cleaning and cooking more does not mean I don't hang out with the kids. It just means I don't really want to film it and I want to be in the moment with the kids when I hang out. So yeah, let's get the day going. I have a lot to get done. <laughs> never tried this specific one so let me give it a try I forgot to sprinkle some cinnamon so let me do that cinnamon is bomb on coffee or anything like matcha cheers mm, it's really hot but it's actually really good anyway I'm gonna enjoy this for like five minutes and then start emptying the dishwasher So I just dropped the youngest off at preschool. I have about two hours. I'm gonna get a bunch of things done while he's here and then we're gonna pick him up. So now that we're home, I'm going to preheat the oven to 375 I always cook every single day because the kids eat really healthy and I'm gonna go upstairs and make the beds and kind of touch up all the rooms and throw in a little laundry So 
I just got some food in the oven that's going. I always prep food, like I said, because um, their family is really healthy, and so that means everything is cooked fresh. So right now what I want to do is mop the floors. The floors get dirty, and we like to mop them like twice a week. Depends. I mopped the floors more along with their mom um, when they were younger because obviously the floor was getting dirtier um, when they were eating, but now like we're teaching them to eat over the table and stuff like that. And um, so, so the floors are not getting as dirty, but they still get dirty. There's a lot of people walking around. All right guys, I'm done mopping the floor. It's dried, it looks great, very clean looking. I'm gonna make myself a lunch. Um, the other day I made myself a salad with like nuts and cranberries and avocado and it was really good. So I'm gonna toss some Brussels sprouts in it, some chicken, and I'm gonna eat that. Cause I thought we had enough greens, but it doesn't look like it. There's just a little bit left. So I think I'm just gonna make it work. I'm just gonna toss a bunch of things in here and however it is, it's gonna be that way because I'm really hungry. <laughs> hey guys, this salad looks really, really good. Anyway, I'm ready to eat my salad, but I this salad turned out great. So I'm gonna have my lunch. I find it smart before you make dinner or you make food for the kids that you make dinner for yourself or food for yourself. That is unless the kids and you eat the exact same thing. For example, like the kids eat really healthy but they're not necessarily gonna eat a salad. So before I full blown start making food and um, when I, you know, plate it and they're sitting there eating, they always need something like, and there's four of them. so. It gets pretty busy, so I find it better if I eat before they eat, or if I'm gonna eat what they eat, then that's different. But life has been different ever since I started. I find with different ages, there's different tasks, and the day looks a bit different. Obviously, there's no kids here right now, but it doesn't mean that there's not work to do. Like, there's a whole house. There is a whole house to run. By the way, I love sparkling water. And they do too, thankfully. So I'm gonna have one of these. I get a few comments. My, ch my channel isn't that big, but I do have a few nanny videos out there. And I get a few comments of like, why are you doing all of this stuff for this family? You should be, I hope you get paid enough. And it just kind of, it doesn't bother me because I, I guess you could say it does bother me because I'm bringing it up. But I just wanna clarify that um, I do like what I get paid, but at the end of the day, like I'm not money hungry to the extent where, you know, I'm like, I'm leaving if you don't give me this raise. Like I'm not gonna be that like money hungry. I don't know how to explain it. My heart is with the family. My heart is like obsessed with the kids. So money is obviously a necessity. I can't just do this for free. I need to pay my bills and think about my future. But at the same time, if money was the reason why I was here, I'd be gone a long time ago with the amount of mental and physical things that I do. And it is mentally draining. Like 
I heard this one um, or I s s read this one post one time where it was like being a mom, which just to Disclaimer, I didn't give birth to these kids. I know some people get really defensive over it, but but I am going on my fourth year of being full-time with these kids, so I'm a mom during the day, okay? And if you don't like that, if you don't like me saying that, that's a personal problem, I literally am being a mom all day. So, but I'm not like their mom, um, and I love their mom, and now I even lost my train of thought. <laughs> but what I'm, oh, so going on four years of being with these kids, oh, man, I lost my train of thought. Um, a lot's been going on in my life, but oh just like things change, right? So like now the kids aren't here and I've done cleaning and prepped some food and done some tasks and It's weird, but once they get home, it's gonna be like lots of kids um, You put the cleaning to the side and in the summer It's so different because like you have to find that time to maintain the house Otherwise, it's gonna be really hard one of the days when everything piles over um, but anyway, I really love this job and I understand some people get really defensive over like how much I do But it just comes with the territory. I have been here for years So and I work more than full-time. So it's not like, you know, I'm not gonna end up doing a lot of things but Thankfully, I am extremely blessed for this job and I love the parents and the parents and I have a good relationship We have a very like mutual respect for each other and like I understand how, how hard the parents work at their jobs and they understand what I do for them and what I do for the kids and Thankfully it comes naturally like I'm not putting on a facade. Oh, that's what I was gonna say I was gonna say how like if I was working here for the money, I'd be gone a long time ago just because Like mentally doing this job is can be difficult, especially because I'm attached to the kids already at this point. But at the end of the day, like I obviously look forward to having my own babies one day. And this job is like a practice, even though I practiced before this job because I have nine siblings. So it's just always been in my like nature to be like a homemaker and take care of kids. Although I do like to do other things on the side. Another thing that I wanted to mention before I down the salad is that every day looks different. Like today, I did do cleaning and I did get things done. Um, and I will do something before the kids get home. Um, if I film it, you guys will see it. But I'm not going to film every second of the day because especially like in the afternoon when the kids come home, guys, I'm not going to be really filming that much because my attention is going to them and I just don't want their faces or anything on the internet. But what I was saying is that every day looks different. Like if I would have filmed yesterday, I cleaned so much yesterday. The whole morning was dedicated to cleaning, like vacuuming all the kids' room, vacuuming the upstairs, the main floor, dusting the main floor, dusting all the kids' rooms, doing laundry. And then like on Mondays, I do sheets and there's four beds. So th that gets busy and I do like cleaning around the house. Like there's so many things that I do. For example, yesterday, I like wiped down and washed all of the cabinets and it took apart the chairs and washed them all down like all the legs and everything so definitely there are days that I do certain things and they're in my head by now like I said I'm going on my fourth year of being here but just know that now I can sit and have lunch after cleaning whereas a year or two ago that would have been even harder and sometimes I sometimes I don't and especially in the summertime like it's definitely going to be like needing me needing intentionally to like sit down let the kids play while i eat so so anyway i'm gonna enjoy this salad and i'll see you guys when i see you to the bowl in case it comes out. Okay, now put the egg over the bowl no, and put your fingers where the cracks are. Yep, put your fingers closer together where the cracks are and push your thumbs in and pull it apart. 
Wow, good job. Now I need to wash my hands. We'll do that. We still got a lot to do. Wow, look at that perfect egg. <laughs> Good. You gotta break the yolk. There you go. seven now I am done with work I dropped the kids off at grandparents the parents won't be home for a bit anyway I'm heading home but I didn't show too much of my evening like I said I probably wouldn't because it's when the kids are more involved and I made dinner they had a family member stop by and played games with them and just we just had a bunch of fun and so yeah that was my evening every day looks different but I hope you guys enjoy this video let me know if you guys have any questions. I know nannying is not a really big thing on YouTube. Like, like if you were to compare like makeup tutorials with nannying, like the amount of content is not, there's not that much nanny content on there. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.